in this video we will go through some of the nodes that will help us bake, bake out high resolution detail for our low resolution mesh. So let's start with this test geometry. Let's poly reduce it. Something like maybe 10%. But you can see that these fins won't be very good bakes because they are getting maybe little too little geometry. Thankfully, Polar Douche actually has a retained density bash attribute, so we can put down paint attribute. As you can see, the default is the mask attribute name is mask, so we want to enable it and call it mask. So let's go back to the paint, put it on fill and connected only. So we can paint in these fins and when we go back to the poly reduce, if we start to increase the weight of the density slider, you can see that our fins are getting even more even more geometry while the rest of it is losing it so let's just find something in the middle so take a look at these how well will they bake this should look fine and fins also gonna be good bakes so like that now let's auto UV I like to put it on for the, these organic shapes. I want to put it on clusters and maybe like six, so it, that it reduces the amount of islands we have. Just make sure that this isn't any overlapping geometry because it's gonna make weird baking artifacts. So this should look fine. And always after the poly reduce, you can see that our normals are very weird looking. So I like to put in soft and normals like that. So it just smooths everyone out because it's actually pretty crucial for the normal wave to look good after this. Because if our normals are not smoothed out, the normal normal map won't actually look right. So, and we are need to put this all inside a group. And we're gonna call this group low. So, we have our low, and the very first one is our high. So, let's just take these nodes and calling alt, just drag out of this point. It's gonna automatically put down merge node. But before we want to start to bake, we actually want to explode this mesh because this mesh has different parts of it. And if we bake right now, there are a lot of intersections and it looks it won't look right. So let's put down explode view. So just make sure that Just make sure that everyone, every part has its own place and they won't intersect each other. Like that. So we have exploded it. It's gonna look fine. So after that, we went to go ahead and split it put down split node and choose low so basically every dot is going to be the first output is going to be low and the second one is going to be high which is exactly what you want for our baking for this I like to use the simple baker 
which is based on mantra. There are actually two bakers, simple and lab bakers, okay, which is the newer one. And actually in documentation they recommend use it, the lab baker. But I, for, for this situation I actually found out that the results are a little bit better for the for using the mantra baker. So I'm gonna put down the low and the high together. I'm gonna press. So make sure that we're going to adjust the, everything here is default. And I want to just normal map. So let's render it. And remember to switch it back to the low resolution for the split node. So, so it's a simple baker has a low resolution in viewport. I screwed up and baked out on a high resolution mesh. So don't make my mistake. So the bake is done. The bake was around 30 seconds. So to take a look what at our normal map with not exploded mesh. Let's go back to the soft and normal and right after that put down quick material and just point it to the baked normal map and put down some tint so you can see a better result. You can see that it baked out very nicely. The fins got good enough resolution and now let's take a look how it looks in a substance painter. This is the result in Substance Painter, as you can see, our low resolution mesh supplied with this normal map and it gives a lot more detail to it, even place like this looks good, we didn't have any weird intersection because we baked out it correctly. Make sure you don't have selected tangent normal flip, why? So that the normal map looks right right at the simple baker and if you import it into quick material to look how it looks when it's not exploded just press on the flip Y and this map actually you want to select in substance painter a direct text normal map so that it looks right 